Yeah, baby, got me a ring. And next thing you know, I see something like this. Boom. Michael Jordan statue. I got work to do. Lots of work to do. What's going on, everybody? My name is Smart Guy Matt Zapala here, hailing to you from the Michael Jordan statue here in Chicago's United Center. We've got a uh, meetup going on with my mentor, CEO, founder of PHP Agency, and host of Value Tainment right there. That would be Patrick Bet David, but uh, absolutely inspired here by the statue. And, and by the way, did you guys know? For those of you in Chicago, they finally put the Michael Jordan statue. I don't know if you guys see this, but the, the Michael Jordan statue is actually inside. I, I don't know when they did this, but uh, I'm used to the Michael Jordan statue on the outside. But uh, listen, I am absolutely inspired after amazing, amazing performance uh, by our office, our team, our business in the month of June. Uh, listen, the Steps to Building and Championship team is constantly putting your foot on the gas and working to get better and never being satisfied. And I know there's a lot of competitors out there. Myself coming out the Marine Corps, you know, there's a lot of things that we take pride in in terms of being a Marine. There's a lot of things that we take pride in in terms of achievements. Speaking of achievements, take this. You haven't seen this yet. This is, this is Michael Jordan's achievements. Um, Olympic gold medalist in two different Olympics. Sports Illustrated Man of the Year in 91. Um, Leading vote get in terms of being an all star college player of the year. Uh, so many different accomplishments in his career, man. But listen, uh, you know, for, for, for whatever it takes, man, he was competing to win because he loved the game. He loved to compete. You know, yesterday we spent time with uh, Antoine Walker. We spent time with Antoine Walker, uh, who is from Chicago, went to Mount Carmel High School, got recruited by Kentucky and played in the league for 13 years. Um, played for Boston and then played for Miami. And you'll see the value attainment series we did with an interview with him. Uh, but kind of his claim of fame is in addition to his NBA championship, but uh, kind of his story after playing the game of basketball was that he made $108 million throughout his 13 year career, played $55 million in taxes. And because in his words, he asked somebody to manage his real estate business while he's competing in basketball uh, and he lost everything. He filed bankruptcy, and he's, he's building his life, teaching people how to learn from his mistakes. And uh, as many of you are watching this video, you're competing in business, you're competing at your job, you're competing in your career, and I want you to know that there's always an opportunity to get better. One of the things that I gotta look at as a competitor, not only just redirect my competitive drive from the military to be to be the very best Marine, to be the very best in my unit, to be the most trusted guy in my, in my squad, in my platoon, is translating that to business, translating that drive, translating the competitive nature into, into business. And some of us have the opportunity to express that competitive nature, some of us don't. And I remember my first couple jobs, working as an Olive Garden server, working uh, at the Jiffy Lube, uh, working at these little odd jobs to get my business started, I did not have an opportunity to express my competitive nature until I got into business. And I was I'm having a conversation here with Jessica, who's uh, the Value uh, Valuetainment's executive producer. She worked on um, Re uh, 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 Ricky Lake, TMZ, um, uh, um, major network shows as a producer. Now she's the executive producer for Valuetainment. Is that lots of times when people are building a business, they're just competing to just to get by. They're just doing things enough to say, you know what, it, it, good enough is good enough. I remember being in the military, the old saying was, another day, another dollar, right? And my, my message to you is that if you're just competing to get by, if you're just competing to just pay the bills, if you're just competing to, to be the same old, same old, without playing to win, without, without really loving the process, you will not build generational wealth. You will not have a marker. You won't have a family statue unless you play to win the game by raising your standards, by raising your expectations. Because see, Michael Jordan didn't just compete. No, he didn't. He didn't just compete. He competed all the time, whether it be pick up basketball. And I was talking to Antoine Walker yesterday. He said, listen, um, I train with Tim Grover, which uh, who's the author of the book Relentless. And he said, 
work with Tim Grover, when Michael was getting back out of retirement to play basketball again, Michael actually called Antoine Walker to round up the guys so therefore they can be in training camp for the next 12, 13 weeks in order for him to get prepared again for the game. Uh, Yolanda Rolet Muse, what's going on? Hey Matt, we in Detroit office. Thank you for your leadership through these podcasts. Oh, you're very, very welcome. And I know Detroit is out there to compete too as well. You guys just don't want to be a regular office with Inside PHP. You're there to plant the flag for Detroit and be known as the office in Michigan for people to work with. So Yolanda, I appreciate that message. Am I right in saying that? And so uh, here with Patrick, uh, Patrick is over there. Boom, he's, he's uh, right there answering questions. There's a meetup going on right now through Snapchat, but Patrick is playing to win. He's just not a peacetime CEO. He's a wartime CEO. See, Jordan just wasn't a basketball player. He wanted to dominate. He wanted to crush his competition. He loved you off court, but listen, when it came to the starting whistle, when it came to tip off, to the end of the game, when the scoreboard said victory, Bulls over the next team, that's what he competed for. He competed in pickup games. You know, Antoine Walker said, listen, even if it was pickup games, he competed to win. One on one, just playing horse, he competed, competed to win. Uh, I remember Jeff Sanders. What's up, Michaud? I remember Jeff Sanders, who was the first, uh, former first round draft pick of the Chicago Bulls. Uh, I had him on an interview on my uh, radio show a few years ago. And he uh, was a first round, pick, first round draft pick out of Georgia. And uh, he remembers a flight he took with Jordan. And it was when these, remember those little Tetris games? You, know, you played Tetris, a uh, little, little, little uh, Nintendo, game, Nintendo Game Boy, that's what it was. So he was playing this Nintendo Game Boy. And what's going on, Giovanni Perez, another veteran entrepreneur out there. Appreciate you, big dog. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, by the way, Giovanni Perez is in one of the hottest offices in Texas, out of Dallas, Texas, working with my buddy, Jason Graziani. You want to be an entrepreneur and play at the highest levels, make sure you connect with Giovanni Perez, out of Dallas, Texas, specifically out of Plano office. But uh, back to what Jeff Sanders was saying about how much of a competitor Michael Jordan was, he said he took that Game Boy uh, and he kept losing, kept losing, and throughout the whole flight back from a game, everybody was sleeping after the game, but not Michael, because he took that Game Boy and he would just play, play, play until he found a way to win the game. And he was so competitive. He, he wasn't winning the game on a flight to the uh, away game, but on a flight back from the away game back home to Chicago, he competes to win. And I think if you're going to build generational wealth, you just don't want to be a draft pick. You just don't want to be, okay, I made it to the league. Okay, I made it to an entrepreneur. Okay, yeah, I got a code number. Yeah, I started a business. But if you want to build generational wealth and do some very big things, and not in your life today, but also build generational wealth for tomorrow, your kids, your kids' kids, you got to play at the highest level by increasing your standards, but expecting more that making 5,000 a month as an entrepreneur isn't good enough anymore. They're making $15,000 as an entrepreneur isn't good anymore. Then having a seven figure business isn't good anymore. Michelle Adams is the whole enchilada. Listen, I just don't want half the enchilada and a little bit of the rice. I want the whole plate. Shoot, I want the whole Mexican restaurant. That's what I'm talk talking about. And if you want to build generational wealth and you say, yo, Matt, boom, I'm gonna plant my flag. I just got drafted into the, into the, uh, the entrepreneur world. I got drafted into the league of entrepreneurship. I've got a PHP jersey on, or I've got a, um, a franchise jersey on, or I got a business idea jersey on, and I'm planting my flag to win the game. You gotta be absolutely committed, just like Michael Jordan was. And the question we ask Antoine Walker, the question we ask a lot of people that are around Michael Jordan is, was he as ferocious a competitor uh, as people say he is? And the same answer comes consistently, is what he did at practice. What? Practice. Is what he demanded from you from the locker room. It's what he demanded from you um, uh, 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 off court. It's what he demanded from you as a competitor of the game, uh, whether it be first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, whether you're sick, whether you weren't feeling well, he would demand the best out of you to continue to compete, playing to win, not just playing to play, not just going through the motions. And if you are an entrepreneur, you're a veteran entrepreneur, you're out there saying, Matt, listen, I, 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 
I'm playing right now at a business level where I'm just paying the bills, where I am just um, uh, paying the payroll. I'm just telling you right now, I wanna challenge you, that's not good enough. Because your world of entrepreneurship, your world as a capitalist, your world as a person expressing free enterprise, you, if you wanna help change your community, change your family's life, not waiting for Donald Trump to change your life, you've gotta go out there and say, you know what, I need to expect more of myself and to express more of myself to get better, to find the right industry, to find the right company, to find the right jersey, to find the right alignment with leadership and mentors. Listen, my game changed in business because I found the right mentor. My game changed in business because I found the right company and association to be around. And a lot of them are right behind me right now. It's a Saturday afternoon. You know what most people are doing right now on a Saturday afternoon on 4th of July weekend? They're distracted. Distracted with beers and barbecue and parties and just hanging out. And what we realize, man, we just don't want to hang out. We want to hang out with intention. We want to hang out with people that want to know more, be more, have more, and most importantly, willing to do more. And are you willing to do that today in the summer of 17? There's Bree Cruz. She goes, thank you, man, and thank you to Patrick for his words this morning. My why is bigger than ever. Playing to win. MSM for life. So, so uh, we we're gearing up Patrick right now. He's got, uh, uh, that's a Victor Landor back there. Taking a picture of Patrick, and Patrick's got a Chicago Cubs hat on. You want to compete to win? You surround yourself with the right people. You surround yourself with people that just don't want to go through the motions, but you surround yourself with people that disrupt the standard normal that make you feel uncomfortable when you're around them. You want to surround yourself with people, not because it's a bad thing, but because you know, you know when they're around, they're going to call you out on your performance. They're going to call you on your standards. They're going to call you out that you can be doing better. And uh, this is the deal. And uh, you guys want to, let me ask you guys a question. You guys want me, Patrick? You, you want Patrick's insights? On competition, competition is one thought. A plan to win big. I'm gonna wait till it gets, gets done with this uh, conversation. Tina Purcell says, "Relentless." Thank you. Oh, by the way, make sure you read that book, "Relentless." John Batista, Matt, your study. Hey, appreciate that, big dog. Let me know what you're doing in business. Stephanie Velez, awesome message, Matt. Thank you, Stephanie Velez. Brittany Penny, she says yes. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this done too as well. One second, guys. PBD. Oh man. Here and with Jordan. Yes, and, and, and I got the cups. And Chicago cups. And green MSM. <laughs> got it all. Patrick, when it comes to playing to win, right? Because some people are just entrepreneurs. Yep. And there's people that are entrepreneurs. Yep. How do they go from entrepreneur to finding a big reason to win? Because it's just, it's, it's, it's gotta be more than just saying, oh, I just wanna be financially independent. What would you say to somebody out there if they want to win big in business? What would be that key factor for them? Whether it's skill sets? So, so I would say it's, it's the muscle of uh, lowering your tolerance for fear, if that makes any sense. Because we're all afraid. I mean, it's not like anybody you talk to who, who you've never met before, you, you're afraid. Anytime you do something you've never done before, you're afraid, but that the tolerance, you're able to tolerate it more without that initial hesitation you have. Because a lot of people talk a big game, but a few people take action, and those who take action while they're afraid end up being talked about and winning big. So it's not like you and I are not afraid. It's not like we yeah. don't have certain we have fears. hesitations. We have fears, but fear being you, gotta, you gotta take action on it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'd say that's what, what it'd be. Kind of cool to see uh, Antoine Walker yesterday. By the way, you got to make sure you subscribe to Patrick's channel, Value Tainment. We just passed up Entrepreneur Magazine. You type in Entrepreneur on YouTube, and you'll automatically find Patrick's Value Tainment channel. Make sure you subscribe. But it's kind of intriguing that with this future coming Antoine Walker interview, yeah. you asked him a very good question: Is Tim Grover, the personal trainer of Michael Jordan, as good as he says says he is? Right? And um, what what motivated you to ask that question? 
So I want to hear it from people who are around him. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear people who have actually trained with him, and he has. And uh, the way he described them, he says, this guy doesn't have a high basketball IQ, but he has a high IQ on how to get you prepared. And that's exactly what he says in the book, by the way. He says, yeah. I don't know everything about basketball, but I do know everything about body. And uh, I wanted to find out what he said about a guy like that, especially a guy that worked under MG all those years. So yeah. it was interesting yeah. to see what he said about him. Yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Patrick, thank you for doing this meetup. Absolutely, man. man. I know a lot of people here Most want to meet you still as well. Most but, definitely, uh, brother. All right, thank appreciate you. it. Yep. All right, well, there you have it. Insight from my mentor, Patrick Ben David. Who's mentoring you, man? Who's in your corner? Who's challenging you to get to the next level? And are you honoring that relationship? Are you respecting that relationship? Are you doing exactly what that mental relationship is asking you to do? So therefore, it's very exciting to be mentored by that person. And I hope you find that person. And if you haven't, and you want to be in that discovery route, and you want to be connected with a person that can get in your corner to help you build a relentless game, to help you build a championship, generational wealth building future, Please subscribe to our channel. Please like our page on Facebook. You connect with us and we'll plug you in with people that we know across the country. So that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. A bunch of you guys are uh, commenting right now. Bree, thank you so much. Deanne Marcos, you, I appreciate that, Deanne. Kenya Frampton says, love it. Michelle Adams, Stephanie Velez. That's right, Team Impact out there. And I'm grateful for you guys too. Thank you, Bree. Thank you for that comment. Till we meet again. Comment below, subscribe, like, comment, share. If you haven't found somebody to connect with, give us a shout. Here at PHB Agency and the Money Smart Movement team. Till we meet again. Continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today. God bless you guys. And over this weekend, let financial freedom ring! <laughs>